Good Monday. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Sea Freedom Brew. Well, we had an interesting meeting with the bank last week. And one of the comments that came out after I was talking about our strategic initiative on net overhead was a banker at the table said, wouldn't it be great, and I paraphrase this, that we could just start all over again. And I refer to that as rebooting in here. So that one of the things that we need to think about is rebooting our net overhead. So when we think differently, we have to think smart in here in terms of getting our net overhead down below that 1% level. So how do we do that? Because one of the things that we talked about was this bank, for instance, had 4,196,000 in terms of assets per employee. The national benchmark, 4,636,000, so not bad, being fairly close to the national benchmark. In this case, he was actually above the state in terms of asset per employee, so not bad. But we talk about my bank, Embassy Bank looking at 9,770,000 assets per employee versus Bank A at 4,196,000. So looking at it from the standpoint that if one can put in place changes in the net overhead to get assets per employee up to the bank where I'm a founding director at, what does it mean for this bank? Because when we were talking about a net overhead initiative for this particular bank last week, is that one of the members of the meeting sat there and said, well, that could mean $7 million to us in terms of pre-tax additional income, which is very significant. In fact, the impact of that $7 million, if this bank over time can reach that kind of assets per employee, would give them a 0.84 in terms of net overhead. So getting down below that 1% level, which as we put it as a strategic initiative, that a lot of bankers sit there and say, that is just impossible. But once again, the bank that I'm part of has done that in terms of assets per employee. What does it mean in terms of ROA? Wow, significant. This bank's ROA moving up from about a 1.25 to a 1.83 and overall return on equity moving up to 17.33%. So we need to put it into strategy to sit there and say it's time to reboot, to sit there and redefine what community banking is into the future. And the key, in my mind, is going to be net overhead. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Sea Freedom Brew. Have a great week.